If you're thinking of buying a Triumph TR6 but would like to road test it, please control yourself. Okay, so it works, um, returns to relatively normal, at least for now, for the next few days. Uh, so I got some time to work on the car. So now we're going to start on the rear fender. I still need to put the door back on. Um, I'm going to mount the hinges in the door and then mount the door so that I can line the rear. But I'm going to uh, strip this. Uh, you Triumph guys or Tier 6 guys will note. Uh, this seam, there's a seam here between the panels. That's been filled. I hope it's just Fondo. I hope it's not welded over. Um, and I got to uh, yeah, take off the rear fender and, and everything, and the lights and such. And there's also a after, not I don't know if it's aftermarket, but a, the pr one of the previous owners put in a, like a splash guard, so I got to take that out. And we'll see what's under here. I suspect it's a shitload of Bondo, just like some of the other corners. Maybe it's just rust. I don't know. And we'll see. Okay, I think this is my least favorite part of this whole project is the fact that the TR6 is like a freaking condominium for big nasty spiders. And there he goes, right up to where I need to take off the bumper. It gives me the heebie-jeebies. Alright, so here is the back end with the bumper removed. I did this yesterday, but it's a little bit rough. We'll see. This seam right here, you see it right? Or is it right there? That should continue on down, but it's all filler all the way across. And this bottom of the balance is like eighth of an inch to, well, shit, probably quarter inch. So it's it all right there. So yeah, so we'll have to see what that looks like when I sand it off. Here's some of that rust that was coming through right, right there. So, we'll see what happens. Alright, so I'm remounting the door uh, to get my alignment back before I take off the rear panel. I've sanded most of it down. There's a shitload of Bondo. All there, all there. Uh, so I want to get this alignment good, and then I'm going to double check this. But So I got four of the six screws in, and that gap looks nice. Uh, first try. Bottom gap looks nice. This looks nice. That looks good. And the door seal's in. I don't have the latch in, but the latch like that, so looks good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Alright guys, so uh it's kinda as I'd feared. Um I don't know if it'll show. There's a strip, one inch strip that goes all the way down. Somebody spot welded, oh, spot welded all the, all the way down. We covered over the seam. You can see it right here. I dug out all this Bondo. And at first I didn't quite know what, how to tackle it, but I guess I'll just uh, put a straight edge down here from this to there and just cut it off and then Try and take the uh, the fender off. I mean, I guess we gotta take the fender off to get at all the other stuff down there, and you know, this is all filler, so who knows what kind of shape that's in. All right, so I'll uh, get back to work. All right, just documenting it for uh, anybody who's interested. There's a bolt here that you need to get at, but it's there's no access. So I'm gonna have, I had to remove the soft top. It's up there. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to take out this interior. 
So, yep. Yeah. Onward. And just documenting it so I don't forget three years from now. All this little hardware. The little upholstery fittings. Probably want to get new ones. Great cars and a great deal more. Great cars and a great deal more.